Hello and welcome to Compitroom tutorial video about how to set up and use FFGate, Facebook fan gate for Joomla. With FFGate you can easily create custom Facebook pages and tabs which are loaded from your Joomla website. Additionally you can also create promotions, contests and everything what you can think of. Also if you set a site to be not public it will be only available to your fans and every other person will see your custom requests for them liking your Facebook page. Let me show you a sample. We at Compatroom are doing a Christmas coupon event at the moment. So let's change to Facebook. This is the current Compatroom um, Christmas page. If you click now on Christmas promotion, this is our Facebook application which is used with FFGate. You're going to see this page, click like above. Um, I haven't liked Compotum yet, so if I want to get my coupon, uh, coupon code, I need to click on like. And as you can see, now it is displayed. This is what FFGate can be do, uh, is able to do for you if you set the uh, site to not public. So next step is setting up FFGate. This is a bit more complicated because for every site you have to create a Facebook application. How this is all working together I'm going to show you now. First step is installing FFGate. This is like for any other Joomla extension. Just download it from computer.com and install it through the Joomla installer. After this we are going to let me do this with you. So I already downloaded it. Yeah. That's nice. So we just install it through the installer. As you can see everything went well. Now we have FFgate here. And we are going to go di directly to sites and set up a new site here. Um, site name description is an intern title, so it's just for you. You can name it whatever you like. I name it just test site. Title is used on some templates. On the default template it isn't displayed, so it can be empty. Next is Facebook application ID and Facebook application secret. These ones we are going to get from Facebook in the next step. Here you can choose your template. Currently you only have default and Compatum promotion. Default is completely empty. So you have to create your site content all yourself, insert an image like we did on Facebook or whatever you like. Um, Compatum promotion is a sample template demonstrating how with some images and a bit nicer so you don't have to do the design all yourself. With later versions, FFGate is going to bring more templates with it, um, so that you don't have to, do, uh, to to design these pages yourself, and just choose the template and add the content, and then everything is working. If you like, you could set up a published up and a published down. Um, we set published to yes, and this is the interesting part. Site HTML is a uh, is a content which is displayed to your fans which already liked them or which are displayed um, for public users like you can see here if you set a extent uh, if you set a site to public later in the uh, Joomla menu link options everything everyone is going to see what's in here if you set it to not public everyone only people who liked your Facebook page are going to see this. So we add just a small text here. Text for fans. And we add a text here, text for non-fans. So next we are going to um, create a Facebook application. So that we get our Facebook application ID and Facebook 
application secret. Um, this is going to be a bit more complicated. We have to go to developersfacebook.com. Um, if you are there the first time, you need to um, log in again and fill out some details about you and so on. Um, after that you go to apps. If you don't have an app, nothing is shown here, but you can just click on create new app. Then we have to choose a name, like um, let me make a sample test app, test fgate app, um, at namespace test fgate URL on Facebook. Um, this is not displayed for your users, so you can choose what you want, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't need web hosting, we are going to use your own web hosting. So we click on continue. We have some security sign. So this is a basic settings page of our Facebook application. Some most important things here are app ID and app secret. Um, we don't have to set up much here. We have just to add an app domain. Um, in this case without HTTP and HTTPS. Next, we have to choose website with Facebook login. In this case, it needs full URL. Next step is setting up the page tab or use app on Facebook. We're going to create a page tab here. For page tab name, we choose test tab. And now we need to insert a URL. And for that, we have to change back into our um, Joomla installation, copy these two. Save the stuff. As you see, everything worked. We have a site now. Uh, go to menus. Um, and create that on a hidden menu. I'm just creating it on, as a normal Joomla link, but normally you set it this to a hidden menu. We choose um, site view here, add a menu title, uh, for example, comfort room, Facebook, coupon, whatever. Here we choose HTML. You could also choose raw format here, then nothing is loaded, not even the most basic CSS files. I would suggest you use HTML and component here. Um, if you use default, your whole website is included in the iframe, if not only um, the site, the component itself. So, the more important options are here. We have to set a site ID, this is site 1. Um, we can use a um, secure key here. Um, we do this in this example. Public, we set to no. And we could add some custom CMS here. So, Um, as you can see, our URL will be Compojoom FB coupon. So let me copy that here. HTTPS Compojoom dot com slash what we the menu link we have just created. This was a top menu link, so it's just rooted here. And now we have to add our secure key. This is going with Seki, and what have we set it? And we set it to MySecure. 
So now we have to set a secure page tab URL. In our case, it's the same. We use on both sites HTTPS. If you want, you could. Uh, you don't have to use it here. You could just remove the S, so um, it's not secure communication, um, but it's not required here. Next, we could add a nice image like we did on Compute Room. Here we added this one. It's um, 128, uh, 111 wide and 78 height. And you could also add an edit URL, but we don't need that. Normal page tab wide is 810 pixels wide and 800 pixels height. If you need more, this is no problem, but then Facebook is normally adding scrolls to your site. We have prevented it, uh, that in our extension, so you don't, don't have to care about that. They were removed, but the ideal, ideal size is still in this limits. So we save the changes and now we are done. Next step is adding the Facebook fan app to the fan page of you. Um, for that you have to go to an URL ad address manually. It's facebook.com dialog I'm just going to copy it. Um, you have to copy it, your app ID here. So let's copy it. And also have to copy our URL here. And now we can choose a Facebook page, for example, Compadu, and add this page tab to the site. Uh, now we have a 404 category green not found because I worked, well, I did this tutorial on the local host. If it would be your site, this would be working now. And nonetheless, when we go to facebook.com slash compadroom, you can see that we got a new one here called test tab. So with that, the tutorial ends. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. The next couple of months, um, we are going to add many new amazing features to it, like new templates, possibility to um, log user statistics, user informations, and much more. So click like and goodbye.